Hey Fly Anglers, today I'm gonna to go over my DIY lanyard setup, which is something that I use when I'm looking to go light or if I'm fishing out of a boat. Let's get into the video. So today I'm gonna to go through my DIY lanyard setup. If you watch a lot of our videos, you know that Dan and I are chest pack people, but whenever I'm looking to go lightweight, whenever it's really hot out, or if I'm fishing out of a boat, I like to go with a lanyard setup. And over the couple, last couple of years, I actually tailored this to my specific needs. I got ideas off the internet, off of social media. George Daniels' book, really instrumental in helping me to develop this. And I think most of, I think his lanyards are Golden Trout Game Changer 2 lanyards, which I would love to get my hands on one of these days and do a review on. But uh, they're a little bit pricey, so I decided to make my own. So let's start from the bottom going up. Kind of the, the, the core of this, this lanyard here, the foundation is the 330 paracord. I think I ended up getting this at Michael's, just got it at the craft store. Most craft stores should have something like that. And I attached this to, it's tough to see, but it's a piece of plastic that, uh, that I cut out. And that plastic acts as like the, the foundation point for a lot of my mounting accessories. So as you can see on the bottom here, I just have some S hooks that I inserted on as well as a clip. So this clip is what I use to actually clip it onto my shirt. That way, whatever I'm walking, the lander's not swinging all over the place or if I'm bending down, netting or releasing a fish, it's not gonna dip into the water. And as far as the two things I have mounted to the bottom, I have this clear plastic vial and this is something that I got from the craft store. It came with glass beads in it, and I just use those glass beads for lightweight flies, lightweight nymphs, or soft tackles. And then I have a hockey puck storage thing right over here. And this is just one of the storage containers that you get at basically any fly shop if you're gonna buy flies from them. And it serves as a great storage container for just an assortment of uh, different strike indicators or bobbers. Uh, I have some pinch on foam indicators in there as well as an assortment of split shot that you can kind of see you know in through the the clear container there. And then here's how I store my flies on the front. This is the CNF Designs fly patch and this thing is just Phenomenal! Really, I should do a, a, a video on that box itself because it is my favorite fly box that I've ever used, hands down. And the great thing about this is I, I kind of modeled the design to where I can take this box, put it on my chest pack, uh, or I could put it on my lanyard. And how I did that was through some Velcro. I attached the furry part of the Velcro onto the back of the box. That way, if I put it on my chest pack, it's not gonna be sticking to a bunch of stuff. And the rough part of the Velcro, uh, the hook part, I just mounted onto the back of the plastic here. And that way, whenever I'm switching systems back and forth, all I gotta do is just line that up and stick it right on. And that's on there pretty tight. But here's just a, a quick look into my working box. Uh, it's a mess in there. It's a, an organized mess, believe it or not. This box, I mean, I just, I can't say enough about it. So on the front here, you'll see that I have a magnet that is, it's an adhesive magnet that I just stuck to the front. And what I use that for is I have a lot of foam rigging patches. Uh, I don't have it with me right now, but I'll just insert some B-roll over top of this. And that way I can carry some dry dropper rigs that are pre-rigged, some double nymph rigs, that would be pre-rigged, or even some additional uh, leaders or things like that. And I have magnets glued onto those foam patches, some neodymium magnets, really strong stuff, the rare earth magnets, and it sticks right to the front of that to where that thing is not falling off. It's just a really convenient way to have just some pre-rigged stuff to where you can make the most of your time on the water. So let's move up the lanyard here. I have just a, a random clip with my desiccant. I love frogs fanny because of the brush applicator that comes with it. And if you go up a little bit further, 
I just have these, these, these buttons that will uh, I thread it onto the paracord and they're gonna allow me to move, to, to go up and down and mount things, mount additional things uh, at intervals up the lanyard. So here is where I have my tippet storage. And what I used for that is a pen with some cord that's just through the center of the pen that I took apart and some clips on either end so I can clip it to my uh, lanyard. And I have a bunch of tippet spools on here. I think I got like two things of nylon, four things of fluorocarbon, and then even another foam rigging spool. This is, this is a foam rigging spool, not a patch uh, like below. And I just have an extra leader that is stored on there. Currently it's my tight line leader, so it's a very long leader. It just works better to store something that long on a foam spool rather than rolling it up over, to, over your hand and then you're just asking for knots, at least I am. I get a ton of knots if I do that. And you go up a little bit further. I have two wine corks that I just drilled a hole down through the center. And these are where I store my streamers. I put uh, jig streamers on here, some medium sized streamers because they're not gonna fit in the CNF Designs box here. I can just throw them up here and they are stuck in there pretty good. Uh, I like the synthetic corks for something like this because it's not going to start chipping away if you use like a natural cork. Uh, so those seem to work pretty well for me. Going up a little bit further, I have on either side just two clips here. Uh, I got my fingernail clippers off of that. I use that as my nippers. And then on the other side, I just have a piece of string that strings together uh, an alligator clip for my New Zealand wool indicator, and then the tool for the New Zealand wool indicators. I just have those hanging right there. Just gives me some additional uh, options for my float. Then going up a little bit further, I just have two more of those buttons here. If I need to add any additional accessories, I can just space those out. So I have those up top. And then I'm gonna take this down because I'll show you how I attach the neck piece. Now this is just some tubing, some rubber hose that I got from the hardware store. Something that is gonna just keep it a lot more comfortable on your neck. It's not gonna have rubbing. It's not gonna be straight paracord. And to allow that to be adjustable, I just have another one of those buttons that I pass the paracord through. So if I want it longer, I can move this button up. Or if I want it shorter, I can just pull this and pull the button down. So that's all there is to my lanyard system. This thing is awesome as like a grab and go thing that I tend to use mostly during the summer. Also great for a boat or anytime you're really just looking to go bare bones. I'll have some additional information on our website at backyardangling.com. I'll have a blog post dedicated to this and I'll link a lot of the materials that I use to make this lanyard. So if you found this video helpful, got some good ideas from it, I ask that you give the video a thumbs up. That really does help us out. If you have any additional things that you maybe do for your lanyard system, I'd love to hear it. Any ideas, please put that in the comments below or ask any questions and I'll try to get back to you as best I can. But I thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you guys on the next video.